Before I start, if anyone has their cell phone, I want you to make sure it's turned on. I wouldn't want you to miss a Paramount text, tweet, or email during my speech. <laughs> First of all, on behalf of the class, I would like to thank our teaching staff, because through them, we learn an incredible amount of knowledge and compassion that we will carry with us the rest of our careers. Most of you may not remember my speech tomorrow, but if there is one thing I would like you to remember, let it be this. Always have fun. Now I'm not saying go downtown to cows every night, but make sure you choose work in a field of nursing that you find challenging, stimulating, and most of all, fun. You not want to dread work every day. You'll be at your best and you'll do the greatest good when you're the most happy. I admit the road to here was rough. I think we all remember the times where we felt swamped and that all was hopeless. Whether it was sleep deprivation for having three clinicals in a week, or the nights of being at a complete loss trying to study for a patho or a Delta L2 test. <laughs> but we made it through and we did it together. We completed the curriculum and are here today receiving the pins that we truly earned through literal blood, sweat, and tears. And so here we are at the cusp of the rest of our lives. The new yet truly exciting thing about this is that there is no longer any core curriculum. The entire experience is an elective. <laughs> the paths are infinite and the results uncertain. So if there's any real advice I can give you, it's this. College is something you complete. Life is something you experience. Love what you do, be good at it, and have fun. I am fortunate enough to believe I have found my niche in the medical career, and what I have found is a field of pediatrics. Why is it that kids are always having fun while the rest of us grow old and tend to lose that sense of innocence? Through my education here at Florida Southern College, I've gained the opportunity to do what I know I all love, healing children. I implore you to find that area that makes you happy, to find that field that motivates you and makes going into work every day fun and rewarding. As a very realistic TV doctor, JD, once said, you can never let go of the kid inside of you. You see, it's the kid inside of us that keeps us all from going crazy. Listen to the advice of the kid inside of you, and don't settle for a job that's not fun. Now, I know the nursing profession doesn't seem to lend itself to the glamorous fun that a job like lion taming or Mexican professional wrestling does, <laughs> but here's how I recommend that. An everyday experience, uh, well, yeah. In everyday experiences, you can take things in one of two ways, seriously or lighthearted. I implore you to try to find humor in everyday nursing care, like when your psych patient starts barking at the TV, <laughs> or when a patient gets so angry he rips a phone off the wall and throws it down the hallway. Especially when you're playing hangman with three unstable psych patients and you have to keep everyone pleasant. Maybe you'll be changing your patient's bed for the tenth time that day, but you just have to smile afterward and thank God that you're still caught. <laughs> when you are having fun, it rubs off on those around you, whether it is a co-worker or a patient. As another highly realistic movie doctor, Robin Williams said in Patch Adams, you treat a disease, you win, you lose. You treat a person, I guarantee you, you'll win no matter what the outcome. So treat your patients and co-workers like friends, and treat yourself to a little enjoyment. I want to leave you with this. Never underestimate the importance of having fun. You must continue to dream the wild dream that you dreamed when you were young. Find what you love and have fun every minute of it.